adult film stars whose family or friends have found your work, what happened? I was driving Jenna Hayes around to morning radio shows in Orlando once before an appearance and signing at our store. The morning radio people kept trying to get a rise out of her to get something sensational for their listeners. One of them asked her do your parents know what you do for a living? She replied yes. What do they think about it? The DJ asked. Considering it paid for the house they are living in, they keep their opinions to themselves. Was all she said to that. Loved it, and it's true. Financial independence and success makes for familial bliss. Went to a friend's baby shower and one of the cousins was accompanied by a date that I later saw on OP Hub. It was a Caribbean family event so those who knew what she did in her spare time were giving the girl the stank eye. She was a nice girl though, I don't judge. My fiancé did some softcore stuff a while back. I once posted a picture of her and I together on Instagram and a coworker insisted he knew her from somewhere. I told him she did some modeling and probably saw an ad she was in. Now he jokes around with me about being in a relationship with a model. Not exactly an adult movie star, but a picture from my adult subreddit showed up on my front page. Looked at it and it was without a doubt a girl I knew in high school, but we hardly talked. I ended up DMing her on Instagram and telling her that her nude might have been leaked, and sent her the link. She thanked me, and the next day her boyfriend messaged me thanking me for telling her, and they were taking legal action. For my 21st birthday my friends kidnapped me and took me to a strip club. They knew I was in a committed relationship and would be uncomfortable, so my B-Day was their excuse to go. Keep in mind I lived in a military town so clubs were everywhere. We walk in and the first person we see on the pole was a girl we graduated with. She immediately made eye contact with us, paused, and then just kept doing her thing. She then saw it as an opportunity to do more lap dances and talk three friends into one. Two dancers later, another girl we went to school with, grade lower, walked out on stage. Weirdest reunion ever. A friend did some, paid, intimate shoot for a random guy she met online, depicting some weird fetish stuff. A few years later some guys in our circle found the pics and is anyone up. The whole town heard about it, she was an almost celebrity for a month more for the weird kind of pictures they were than for her being naked. I'm generally very open about the fact I've done adult movie work. Most of what I do is very niche fetishy stuff, the sort of stuff you wouldn't find without very specifically looking for it. But I have also done some work on a couple of more mainstream, but still stylized sites. I've had a few friends who were already subscribers to that site who were surprised to see my shoots go up on there, but they've always been very respectful about it. My brother was an adult movie cameraman for several studios, does that count? He acts all ashamed and would never tell our religious family, but I don't give a shit. Make that money, bro. I do occasionally say back when you were poor and had to do adult movies for money to rib him, though. In my daily internet journey of finding good adult movies, I stumbled on a solo video of a girl who looked familiar and I just couldn't place her. I see her the next day at the gym and I kid you not I just realized I have been seeing her for almost over a year in that gym. I have never actually spoken to her or made contact but damn she is hot. Once stumbled across a video of a girl I worked with and we were all quite close. When we were alone, I asked her if she'd ever made a video, and she asked why. I told her I had stumbled across a video that looked remarkably like her. She looked at it and laughed, saying she had forgotten making that in college. X had some videos posted of her by one of her hookups. She was in a relationship with another guy and had been for three years. I saw one of the videos and texted her to see if she could get them removed before her grown son saw them. She asked the current guy who was a lawyer if he could help. Two months later the lawyer commits suicide by shooting himself. Not sure if it was because of that or not. Never asked the ex and didn't want to know. Our high school valedictorian became an adult movie star. I had classes with her quite a bit as I was jamming myself with AP courses and she's that quiet and smart type. I guess she went from jamming herself with AP courses to jamming big old E's. Not gotta lie, I was quite a fan of hers. My brother's casual friends started an OnlyFans. It lasted about 48 hours and made $900 before her mom found out. 
Apparently she had announced it on Twitter slash Snapchat to all her friends, after blocking slash excluding family members, but it still quickly found its way back to her mom who promptly shut it down. I guess having 2,000 thirsty Facebook dude friends really does pay. Had a family member announce her career to the family herself and asked for everyone's support. Needless to say it did not go well. For those saying the family should have been more sympathetic know this, she was a grown woman who had a daughter on the other side of the country, that she abandoned for her career and who was raised by her father. So, no the family was not okay with the news. I used to be a cam girl. One time, a viewer logged on and recognized me so he proceeded to call me by my real name in the chat, and ask how my boyfriend was doing. I acted like I had no clue who he was talking about but I have a feeling some of my other fans knew better. It felt really invasive, and could have put me in danger. I have no clue who it was to this day. A former co-worker of mine did some amateur stuff for San Diego Latinas. It was some of the crappiest I've ever seen, seriously not even a little bit sexy. And she's hot, but a total dead fish. Anyway, everyone in the office knew and seen the videos, and when arguing one day with another female employee, she was called out by her stage name and was told everyone knows, insert name. My roommate's one and only movie she did is very searchable, don't ask me what it is, I don't want to see it. A friend of mine she didn't know, came over and immediately recognized her and called her by her stage name. Cue awkwardness. Broke up with my ex-girlfriend and a week later one of my friends had found an OnlyFans account of hers through some classmates in college. Living in a small town word got around fast and now pretty much everyone knows about it including my parents. It has become super awkward and somehow gets brought up in conversation all the time. Not to mention fact that I'm paying $10 a month now for what I used to get for free is pretty annoying. Male actor here. I had a group of friends I'd been fairly close with for a couple of years. One day one of them texted me on FB saying we needed to talk and it was urgent. I had a pretty good idea what was up. He let me know that the group had found out about me being in adult movies and were talking about it behind my back. He thought that wasn't cool, so he wanted to let me know what was happening. He also said he personally didn't care but other people did. I thanked him, and reached out to another group member. Offered to talk in person about it, but he simply said he wasn't interested, and he thought I was stupid for doing something that would damage my social reputation. I then noticed most of the others had quietly defriended me on Facebook. I lost the friendship with the guy who gave me the heads up as well, he's still a part of that group and I didn't want to make things difficult or awkward for him. Now I'm kinda like duck those guys, but for a while it kinda hurt. We had been friends, and yet they gossiped behind my back, and didn't even bother listening to my side of the story. I know they watch adult movies regularly, we talked about it occasionally and shared favorites. I feel like, so you can watch it and enjoy it, but no respect for the people in it? I'm a best friend of an adult movie star. We met in grad school actually and we look like polar opposites he's covered in tattoos and into the occult and stuff, I have very few visible tattoos and look, nothing like my personality. We became instant friends and study buddies, attached at the hip. Early on in our friendship, when we started adding each other on social media and I noticed something was, different about him online but I didn't think twice about it because my online personality is pretty different than grad school personality. But he'd post some provocative pictures with his partner but me being me, didn't think anything of it even though a mutual friend kept pushing me to ask him what his deal was but I never did. One day he accidentally sent me an email from his work account which had his stage name, he kinda freaked out thinking I'd freak out and tried to explain it away. We had a study date the next day and he told me about his side career with his partner, and admitted he thought I would have been judgmental about him and his lifestyle but I honestly didn't care. After that. He'd share everything with me about shoots and getting tested etc etc I've only looked him up once and he does some hardcore stuff but as long as he's healthy and safe and happy doing what he's doing, he knows I got his back because he's always had mine. The most awkward thing was accidentally coming across one of his videos because yours truly has some kinky kinks and his video came up. His friendship is invaluable and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.